everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you a really awesome recipe for how to grill corn on the cob with lavender butter. Now we're making a compound lavender butter to top our corn on the cob. This is fantastic Ontario corn on the cob from Harvest Barn Country Markets. This stuff is plump and amazing. Look at how beautiful these are, okay? And they're just as beautiful inside. Fantastic. So I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna I'm gonna take all this corn silk and the husk off tonight. I'm gonna do them without the husk and I'm gonna grill them up and I'm gonna show you how to make this really, really tasty compound butter. Now make sure you check out my review on this corn. It is so plump and beautiful and perfect. Fantastic. I've been doing all kinds of corn on the cob recipes. Um, what's better about summertime than corn on the cob? Not a heck of a lot. So first things first, I have my grill preheated on high, okay? I'm going to just coat my um, corn on the cob with some olive oil quickly. I like to use my hands because it's just the easiest way to do it. Now I've freshly ground some um, pepper and I'm just going to sprinkle it with pepper and some salt before I throw them on the grill. We're also going to season them when they come off, but it's going to be with that lavender butter. So I just want to get a nice foundation of flavor going with these. A little bit of pepper. Nice. So onto the grill they go. I want to get them charred on um, a lot of it, the sides here, and you just want those little charred bits. That's what I'm looking for. This is going to take maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes on my indoor grill. Outdoor it's a little bit quicker, but you want to just keep rolling them around and getting them nice and charred. Now while I'm waiting for this corn on the cob to char, I'm going to make our gorgeous lavender compound butter. So this is how we're going to do this. I have my corn grilling right now, and I just need a couple tablespoons of softened butter. Now you need it to be softened so that you can actually manipulate it and you can mix things in. And then you're going to cool it off just a little bit to solidify it. So the key is to having soft butter. I don't a whole bunch because I'm just doing corn tonight. So I'm taking maybe two tablespoons of heaping tablespoons of soft butter. I have freshly ground some fresh pepper and I love pepper on my corn so that's going to go into my butter too. My butter is already salted so I don't need to do anything like that. I'm using this really awesome lavender from Neob Lavender. You can find them online at neoblavender.com and they have all kinds of fabulous lavender products. They're out of the Niagara region and these happen to be their lavender buds. Fantastic. Culinary lavender it's called. And they are bright, beautiful, purple lavender color and they are extra tasty. They have lots of lavender floral flavor and it goes really nicely in butter and really nicely with vegetables. Okay, so it has a little shaker and it has um, a spoon opening. So I'm going to use a little bit more than just shaking. I'm going to probably use a good teaspoon of these lavender buds, I would say. It's going to be fabulous. If you're going to do it, you might as well go all out, right? My butter is already salted, so I don't need anything like that. And I'm just going to add a, just a smidge of cayenne pepper. I like things just a little bit spicy. Now, you're just going to mix this all up as best you can. Make sure everything is evenly combined. I like to use a spatula so I can easily move it around and scrape it afterwards. Oh, it smells so good. And basically, that's it. It's just as simple as that. Oh, that smells heavenly. Now, I love um, lavender with green beans. Mm, well, that's nice. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt, a little bit more salt. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Corn on the cob is great with salt. <laughs> Mix that through and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Not only is it beautiful with these purple, uh, lavender purple buds in here, but it's ever so flavorful. Just that little tiny bit with a, with a lavender bud, really exciting flavor and I can't wait to have it on my corn. So I'm just going to put it into a nice little bowl, scrape it all out. You can do that. You can fit it into a uh, little candy molds if you want to for different shapes and then throw it into the freezer quickly or the refrigerator to harden up depending on how quickly you need them and that is just as easy as can be ever so tasty all right so my butter is ready for my grilled corn that's what it looks like it's fantastic now it's really really soft right now and your corn on the cob is going to be super hot and when you put this butter on it's going to melt extra super fast so I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a couple minutes just to harden it up slightly for maybe another 10 minutes until these are done and uh, it'll be ready for me 
for my corn. Okay, my grilled corn on the cob is coming along very nicely. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some charred bits like that and you wanna get that all over it. That's just flavor. So keep turning them over to get them on all sides. Make sure you check out my recipe for the Barbarian's Grilled Chicken. It's gonna be awesome. All right, my corn looks ready, so let me get this lavender butter. Mm, I can't wait, this is gonna be awesome. This is slightly solidified a little bit more. It was just really, really loose earlier. It's summer here, it's hot. Okay, this corn looks fantastic. It's just what I wanted, this beautiful charred nature, and that's what we're looking at. This beautiful char all over, that's what I want. It's bright yellow, it's plump. You don't want it to dry out. So as soon as you get enough char that you're happy with, don't dry your corn out. Do it a favor. So let's get some of this butter on here because this is the whole point. Oh, like a dream. Onto my corn. Oh yeah, it's melting perfectly. So you want it a gooey, gooey, buttery. Now, if you have any leftover of this compound butter, you can surely use it tomorrow on some kind of side dish that's gonna be fantastic on. Make sure you get a whole bunch on there because that's the whole point, you wanna enjoy it. All right, look at this glistening corn cob of, of deliciousness with the beautiful little uh, lavender buds on it. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Mm. That might be my very favorite way to eat corn on the cob. Not only is this a great corn on the cob, mm. lavender on corn on the cob with butter, unreal. Mm. What a fantastic idea. Mm. It's grilled to perfection. It's salty, it's just a hint spicy. That pepper, nice cracked pepper is beautiful. And the lavender just shines. It doesn't overpower the corn. It really accentuates the corn, but it is the feature star. It's fantastic. You've got to try this grilled corn with a compound lavender butter. You're gonna love this. It's amazing, okay? Get on out to Harvest Barn Country Markets and pick you up some Neob lavender buds You'll be so happy you did. There's lots of different ways you can use it. Make sure you stay tuned for our shows and you can find out some more exciting ways to use them. Fantastic, that's how you do it. Grilled corn with compound lavender butter. So easy and such a really nice conversation piece as well as something extremely flavorful to go alongside your really delicious food, okay? Beautiful, you wanna make this. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is CookingWithKimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.